It's not easy to see what these sheets will become. They're a mixture of paper and the stems of papyrus reeds. They're spread out on large surfaces. These women are using the sheets to make sanitary pads. The need for sanitary protection is huge, especially in schools where hygienic conditions are bad. Many girls can't afford imported sanitary pads. Moses Musazi, an engineering professor at Makarera University in Kampala, has developed a safe and cheap locally made alternative, maca pads. They told me something I didn't know, that some girls who are too poor to afford sanitary pads missed going to school all the days they were menstruating. That means three to five days in a month, they wouldn't go to school. Progressively, they would perform badly and then drop out of school without completing education. Moses Mosazi and his colleagues experimented for three years to develop a model that worked. The papyrus reeds grow on the outskirts of Kampala. They're abundant and are easily processed. To make the maca pads, workers cut the papyrus, peel off the green cover, and then take the white stems to the factory. The work is done by people who live next to the fields. The maca pads project is aimed at creating jobs for the needy. Unemployed women and refugees from the Democratic Republic of the Congo and Central Africa are given preference. Just under 200 people now work in the factory. Production takes 40 steps, and almost everything is done by hand. The idea was to employ as many people as possible and using as little energy as possible. Therefore, use the sun or solar in the production, but to employ many, many people out of it. They've been making the maca pads in Kampala for 10 years. This is already the third production site. Julie Nakabula has been there since the beginning. She's now the general manager. Yeah, it's really funny that uh, being a man, he has been able to invent uh, a sanitary pad, which he does not obviously use for biological reasons. But then, because he's a genius in innovations. Moses Mosazi derives inspiration from his immediate surroundings. My side as a father, Makapads, has made a huge impact. First of all, my daughter and wife use Makapads, but most importantly, that they are very proud of me for having been able to innovate something out of what we call grass, that is papyrus, into a product. They're so cheap that not only Uganda's schools, but also the UNHCR refugee organization wants them. My future plans for the Makapads are twofold. The first one, I want to see Makapads marketed outside the, the Ugandan borders. I know we're going to Sierra Leone and a little bit beyond. We want to see Makapads as a home product in Africa. Moses Musazi is expanding the business, and he can hardly keep up with production. His simple idea has improved the lives of many women in Africa.